Hello and welcome to In The News. I'm your host, Jake Moyes. Now, this week I've got a couple of headliners and we've got scenes we'd like to see at the end. So, shall we get going? Here's the first headliner. Is it hot ginger orgasms? Horse or water bar? The correct answer is head teacher guilty of having sex with teen boys. Yes, this week it was announced that the head teacher of that school was actually found guilty of having sex with teen boys, which to me is actually rather disgusting. And as it was actually a big thing in the news, I thought I would put it on in the news. But I think that is actually disgusting. And if I was a teen boy, which I am, I am a teen boy, um, I would not have sex with that. She was ugly, fat, and ginger. So, what's the like about her? Anyway, let's go on. Next headliner. Is it everything this man is just now seen? Tits, condoms, dildos, ice creams, potatoes, and cream? The correct answer is Titanic composer dies in a plane crash. Now that was sad news that hit us this week that the uh, plane or well, plane crash involved this Titanic composer Horn Horn and Horn and something like that. His name, uh, but it could have been worse. Uh, he wrote or composed music for a film about a sinking ship, uh, so he could have died on a sinking ship. Which would have been worse, but a plane crash is bad enough, and if Horn's family are watching, which they won't, but my kind regards and very sorry. Let's move on to the next headliner. There's not much I can say about this, but the correct answer is migrants use Calais chaos to board lorries. Now, to me, here in the UK, that is not a joke, so it shouldn't be used in a funny way. But I'm going to abandon my beliefs there and make a joke out of it. Uh, migrants using a lorry, but they're using chaos, um, which is actually weird, because using chaos is actually going to cause more attention to them, which it has because it made the news. If they were just quiet about it and they got on the, the lorry silently, then they would have succeeded. But I'm glad that the rascals got caught and are now wherever they are. All I can tell you is, they're not in the back of the lorry. Anyway, let's go on with the last headliner. As you can see, it's Chris Evans in his car there. Uh, on the Top Gear test track, but is the answer everything we hate about Chris Evans? Is it Chris Evans, prick, fat, tall, and ginger? The correct answer is Chris Evans practices for Top Gear. Yes, this week, Jeremy Clarkson's and Chris Evans' argument has erupted, and they are in a massive argument. But Chris Evans has taken this opportunity to go and practice for so-called Top Gear, uh, which isn't actually called, well, we shouldn't call it Top Gear anymore, because it's just another car show. It's not going to be Top Gear. Top Gear were about free, idiotic teenage, middle-aged people 
messing around and falling over and driving cars stupidly fast on roads, which we liked. Now it's just a, a ginger idiot with a couple of females and a female stig, and we know what happens with female drivers. Uh, you know, it's not good. So Top Gear, in my eyes, does not exist anymore. But Chris Evans has just been out on the track driving his little Ferrari, uh, which I can say is uh, all Top Gear is going to be now, because uh, as we know, Chris Evans has a garage full of Ferraris, but all he's going to do in Top Gear is drive his Ferraris around the track. So have fun watching about six hours of that, if you are watching this Top Gear. Anyway, let's get on with scenes we'd like to see. And this week's topic is bad things for a teacher to say. Fight, 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 fight. You know the rules, Amanda. If you turn up without your kit, you have to do it in bra and knickers. Hello, I'm Mr. Glitter. You're all going on this school trip, but if any of you watched a program called The News, you'll know that you won't be coming back. Good essay. Nice hooters. We've all had a bad time since Shannon went missing, but for me it's been hard because I haven't been able to use my basement. Sorry, you haven't got the part in the nativity. We don't want a fat Mary. Are you chewing, Zandra? This is the worst blowjob I've ever had, Ed. Hello. I'm your teacher, but I'm not qualified. I just do this job for the holidays. It turns out you're not dyslexic. It just means you're really, really stupid. Today's game of head down, thumbs up begins on the sound of me undoing my fly. I've been at this school for over 40 years. I ruined your father's life and I'm going to ruin yours as well. Congratulations, you got an A. But no, it's not for good behaviour. It's for AIDS, I'm afraid. Yes, thank you. And that's it for today's episode of in the news we've had some good news and we've had some bad news the worst being chris evans taking over top gear and the best a pedophile teacher has been sent down all we know is in the news is over for another week which is good for some people and bad for others but the next time i see you I would have seen the last Top Gear of being Top Gear because Top Gear airs this Sunday. So enjoy that and enjoy me next week. I'll see you next week on In The News. Goodbye, friends. Yeah.